Hello everyone and welcome back to another unboxing. Today we have seven Magic Mixies Mixlings cauldrons and these I believe are the third in the series. They're a little bit different than the ones we've seen before in appearance. Here we can see that we get a figure and an accessory. It says there is 40 plus mix links to collect and we get some instructions on how to reveal our mix link. So before we go ahead and open the first one, there's this little booklet that they come with and uh, we can see this is the Crystal Wood series and some of the types of mix links we can get like the Flutterflyers, the Lucklings or the Loxies. And then we have some warnings and some more of the types that we can get, like the aqua changes, the glowlings, and the limited edition shimmer. Looks really cute. So let's go ahead and open the first one and see what our first mixling is going to be. Now, back in the day uh, with, I believe, Series 1, we had this gem in the middle that we used to rub in order to reveal what kind of rarity we were getting with our mixlings. That doesn't seem to be the case in these ones, so we're just going to have to wait and see and open our um, cauldron and reveal our mixling in order to figure out the rarity. All the way around. It has some pretty sculpted details on it. And let's just go ahead and see. Okay, so we get something at the top. There's a little baggie, and then this says remove. So I guess it's a little protective piece of plastic. So this little pocket contains, looks like our ingredients baggie and some more instructions. And this just tells us how to pour the ingredients on top of the cauldron and then to use the little pocket that it came in to scoop up and pour some water as well. And then all we have to do is wait for it to bubble and reveal our mixling. Okay, so now that we know this, let's go ahead and open up our little ingredients potion, I guess. It has a perforated edge, it's a little bit hard to get through though. Sounds like it has some sort of powder in it. And let me try and pour this without making too much of a mess. There we go. And let's see if I can scoop up some water. Here it is. I'm already making a mess, but okay. And try and get all the powder, hopefully. Okay. It is bubbling. Hmm. That didn't seem to reveal our mixling. So I'm gonna try and, I guess, poke at it a little bit. Yeah, so it's a very wet kind of napkin. Kind of paper that is on top. I don't know if I did something wrong. And here is our mixling and its accessories. So it looks like there's very little water at the bottom. I'm actually surprised. So here is the accessory baggie. So let's start with that one. 
It looks like we caught a little potion bottle. And our checklist. So once again, here's the kind of mixed links we can get along with the rarities, which are moon for common, flower for rare, gem for ultra rare, and a crown for the limited edition ones. So it looks like we have the glowlings with their little lantern that glows in the dark, and I think the figure glows in the dark as well. And we have Thinks, Saba, Geckler, Zinkle, Gubu, Sleep, Blinda, and Shapel. Then we have the Lucklings, which seems like they have a wand, and they reveal different fortunes. So we have Love, Fortune, Luck, Gift, and Win, with different symbols for them. And we have Pixley, Christy, Avens, Berkey, Amber, Barry, Paxley, and Cupidy. Then we have the Loxies, and it seems like they have another wand again. And when you swipe at them, their hair is revealed. That's new. And we have Fizdig, Sidu, Lushu, Maya, Luggle, Mixel, Exa, and Swipey. And then we have the aqua changes, the ones that come with the potion bottle. And it looks like you can pour either hot or cold water on them and change their colors. And we have Harlo, Gremin, Jivan, Jimple, Javel, Orsha, Jarble, and Gardel. And then we have the Flutterflyers, which also have a little wand, and when you swipe at them, their wings show up. And we have Dawn, Twidge, Mooby, Ruby, Muckle, Raina, Dela, and Tindo. And last but not least, we have the, I think the limited edition ones in general, the ones that come with Magical Rainbow Deluxe Pack, where we have Otis, Maya, Reina Bobo, which looks really cool, Pinkney, and Pupple. And then the limited edition that we saw on the little booklet, which was Shima, the Magic Potion Struck one, which is Frickle, and the Magic Light Up Treehouse one, which is Ziplet. And now that we know what to expect, we already know that we have an Aqua Changer because we have the little potion bottle, which is their little water bottle, I suppose. Let's go ahead and open it up. out which one we got. Oh, it's a really cute one. It has very pretty colors. So it looks like she's laying down. She has a little teardrop gem. on her ear and tail. Very, very cute one. So let's check out her name. This is Gardle, and she is a common one. So here I have a little tub. This came with the Kitten Cat Fae dolls, and it was a little tub that was meant for the little meowables that they came with. 
I thought it would serve as a nice little tub to check the color changes for the aqua ones. So here is little Cardo. Hmm, she doesn't seem to be changing colors. I think it's because this room is quite cold and the water that I used is cold, so there doesn't seem to be any change because of that. Let me try and fix that real quick. So here she is when she's warmed up. Her tail is a lighter, much lighter color purple. And when we, oops, when we dip her into the water, you can see that it turns into that beautiful dark purple again. Let me try and get it all, cause this is, I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty magical how the color changes. It's, it's very, very cool. So it looks like it's just the tail part that changes colors, but it's still very, very adorable. So let's get her up here while we get ready to open the next one. Hopefully we get a different type of mixling this time. And I just wanted to show you guys how much I struggle with these things. Like there's no way I can get this open. So I just had to resort to violence. Please don't use knives like I do to open packages like this. It's not safe. So here's our next cauldron. And let's go right ahead. We get the same little scoop with our ingredients and a little protective film. Let's get our little I assume this is soap because it bubbles. It's just in powder form, so let's get that on there. Let's see if I can do it better this time and get like the paper to completely dissolve and reveal the mixing instead. Scoop some more water and try and pour it in quicker this time. Maybe that works. And it looks like, again, it like settles down, like it dips inwards a little bit, but then it doesn't really dissolve, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm really not fond of how it turns out after all this soapiness. This is kind of um, slimy and weird to the touch. Look at that goop. This isn't very fun for me. And our little accessories. Oh, looks like we got something new this time. And here it is. And if I recall correctly, this is the little lantern. out of the way and we have our little lantern so these I think came with the glowlings the lantern itself is meant to glow in the dark as well as the figure so let's find out which figure we got looks like she's sleeping. She even has clouds in her eyes and a moon for a gem. She has beautiful colors. Oh, she has a rose for a tail. That is so gorgeous. And her little ears are like leaves. This is such a beautiful figure. I'm impressed. So this one is Zinkle, and she's a common one, but I have to say, she is extremely adorable. So let's get the next one. 
next we'll turn out of the way and put little single up there in her spot so right now it's very sunny outside so no matter if I turn off the lights or not it's not gonna be possible to see the glow in the dark ones glow so we're gonna have to wait until a little bit later in the day for that so hold on until the end of the video And I do want to try and get the uh, reveal part right if I can. I'm kind of bummed that I keep having to scoop up this uh, paper goop. Get the figure out. And the accessories. Looks like we got a wand this time. So here's the wand. I wonder which type this is for. It's very beautiful though. It's a heart shaped gem. And let's check out the figure. spoilers and I hid them so now we're gonna actually reveal what the little figure does everyone pretend you didn't just see so it's very adorable it looks like it's about to pounce it has little blue wings on the side and a dark blue tail it looks like a feather and let's see what the one does And oop, she has a full head of hair that is very colorful too. It's very, very cute. <laughs> I actually really like these types. I, I don't think we had any of this type in the series one cauldrons. So this is something new and very cute. Let's put her up here and get our next cauldron. And this little cutie is Sidu, and she's a common one. So far, we have the aqua changes, the glowlings, and loxies. We are still missing the lucklings and the flutter flyers and we have four more cauldrons to go i am going to spare you guys the struggle but i did go ahead and try yet again to get the little paper to dissolve but I haven't been lucky so far. This one looked like it had fun colors. Let's get the accessories out. It's another wand and it's a different one. That's cool. This is a key, I guess, and the checklist, and our mixling, is Oh, it's a fortune one! her colors. She looks so adorable and I love the fortune ones. Look at the little crystal ball they have. So it looks like the key is a wand. So we swoosh and we 
get a fortune and we got a heart. That's so adorable. This one's really cute. Let's see which one it is. This is Pixley. And it looks like we got the first love symbol, one of two. So let's get the next cauldron and put Pixley up on the shelf. I think I'm going to have to make some room in order to get the others in here as well. Oh, next one. Take our ingredients and start all over again. And we got a different wand, so that means a different type of mixling again. Oh wow, this wand is so beautiful. And checklist. What we got. Oh, we have the spoiler with the wings once again. But the mixling is very adorable. She has a heart gem and little hearts on her belly. She's got a little pink tail, I'm assuming to help her stand, and little roses on her head. She's very, very adorable. And let's see the wings in action. Very cute pink wings. Her name is Reina. And this one is a Flutterflyer, which means we actually got an ultra rare. So we actually got all types. Oh, it looks like different colors again. Hmm. We have another aqua changer, but a different one this time. Here is the potion bottle again. It's a little kitty mermaid. Wow, I love the color combination of this one. It's very, very beautiful. It has a seashell for a tail. And once again, this is the cold version of the color. Let's just warm him up and see. So here's Parlo with the warm color of the tail. Check and see how it changes in a second and this is a common one so in he goes with the tail switching from a kind of dusty tan kind of pink into the I don't know what color this is it's like between very very dark green and a little bit of blue Let's just help him out uh, to get him all changed. The little bottles are fun, but uh, it's difficult filling them up and like pouring with them. So I'm just gonna take that scoop. And there he is. I really like how, even though we got two aqua changes, there are different designs, so one is a mermaid and the other is not. And our last cauldron 
I can't complain. We've had all different types and we have had no double so far. So I'm hoping this for a cute figure for our last figure of the day. The cap came with everything off this time. That's kind of neat. The last attempt at a magical reveal. Oh no. This is it's coming out in chunks. Like big chunks. If anything, I think this is the least magical one of them all. Look at this. <laughs> you know what? I'm not gonna complain. The mixlings have been super, super cute, so whatever. And looks like the last one is another glowing. We know it's a different one from the glimpse of color that we got. Another lantern. And the checklist. And our last mixling. Is. Oh, it's a bunny. Let's take a closer look. It has a star gem. It has little stems on the top of its head. And a cute little tail in the back. And it looks very, very adorable. I love how different they all are from each other. Very unique. This one is Shepel, and she is another common. So here's our mixed links for today. I'm really, really glad we managed to get one of each type at least and no doubles. I think they're gorgeous. Um, I did notice that while the appearance of the cauldron got a little bit um, downgraded, the quality of the figures got a major upgrade, which I'm really happy about. Uh, most of the figures, except for the Flutterflyers, I believe, feel completely solid and heavier than the Series 1s. Uh, I think the Flutterflyers are the only exception just because they have to be hollow on the inside for the wings to fold in and out, and you can actually feel the difference between uh, say the glow ones and those but I am I am definitely much much happier with uh, having higher quality figures versus having better looking cauldrons I am overall very pleased with the ones I got it's so hard to pick a favorite one out of the bunch but I'm going to go with two and that would be Zinkle, the first glow-in-the-dark one that we got. And Pixley, our little fortune teller one. I just love the style of the fortune teller ones in general. I love the fact that they're holding a crystal ball that you can see your fortune in. I think that's just such a cool idea. Let me know which ones you guys like. And as I promised, this is how our little guys look in the dark.